the county edition in conjunction with Moy University. It is a hot Saturday afternoon here in Elbert Town with temperatures of around 27 degrees Celsius and humidity of 42%. It is the 12th day of March 2011 and this is the county edition coming to you live from the Grand Prix Hotel in Elbert Town, the presumptive headquarters of the county of Wasingishu. Good afternoon and welcome. I am Rita Tinina. University now where a section of students are flying high in a literal sense. The university's aeronautical school is first becoming the pride of Wasingishu three years after it began operations. The school now has three aircraft to train its students and as Robert Nagila found out, it is already attracting students from far and wide. 28-year-old Carol Kamau is a flight instructor with the School of Aerospace Science at the Moy University. The only female instructor, she says she relishes the challenge in what is considered a male-dominated world. Well, as you know, most of the people think that uh, piloting is most uh, dominated by male, but I believe now the female part is really coming in. Was the last flight to Nairobi from the Eldoret International Airport prepares for departure, she takes a student through a pre-flight check. Moy University has three training planes, this one a Cessna, the smallest of the Lord. Kamau has been an instructor with the university for about eight months. She says the offer came at the opportune moment. I finished my instructor's course. Uh, the Moy University introduced their School of Aerospace and I happened to apply and uh, I'm very thankful that uh, they considered my application. Once the Nairobi-bound flight has taken off, she prepares to take to the air with her last student of the day. Satisfied, he has done an all-round thorough check. And within moments, they are airborne. The sun forming silhouettes all around as it sets. The beautiful skyline opening up. And as darkness falls, they touch down. The control tower describing it as a textbook landing. That was a practical side where students are trained at the Eldoret International Airport. The theory side of it, which complements the practicals, is done here. Incidentally, the classes are offered at a converted warehouse at Rivertex. You have some real issues. Captain Alan Angale, the chief ground instructor and a qualified pilot, says there are three different aspects to the theoretical course offered. We currently are undertaking the private pilot license course, trilogy, so that they would actually appreciate the kind of weather they would experience whilst in the field. And also we deal with navigation. The dean of the school, Peter Tarangay, says the aim of the program is to take the course to the highest level, the only one of its kind offered in the country. From undergraduate, they go to masters and they can go for PhD. In other words, they can also be professors. And it's clear the school has caught the attention of many. Said Gonzala, who resides in Mombasa, says the school was his first option, leaving out many established flight schools closer to him. Simply because in East and Central Africa, there is no any other university or any other institution that offers an aerospace degree. For a flight school that has been around for the last three years, Moy University is making noise about its expertise. Perhaps the best opportunity on offer is there is a high chance that after completing their training, many of these students will remain here, building the school which is already the pride of Wasingishu County. Robert Nagila, MTV, in the county of Wasingishu.
and to give us more insights into the School of Aerospace Science and indeed the Moy University. We are now joined by Professor Richard Mibe. He is the Vice Chancellor of the Moy University. Welcome to the County Edition. Thank you very much. We will be talking about this aerospace, um, the School of Aerospace Science in a moment. But the Moy University, what makes it tick? What makes Moy University tick? is the unique programs that we roll out and these programs address the needs of the country and also contributes towards realization of the vision 2030 and the millennium development goals so we also come up with programs that really solve existing problems in all areas we contribute towards the health sector education sector business sector and even the aerospace uh, sciences group, mm -hmm. business sector. Talking about the School of Aerospace Science, yeah. it has been described as one of its kind around here. What gap do you seek to fill? Actually, right now, we are seeking to fill the gap of maintenance because there are very few technical experts in this continent, not only in this country, that can actually take care of the issue of uh, aircraft maintenance. So that is uh, something that we are going to do very shortly and uh, to help us to move forward in this particular discipline. You have about 24,000 students. Your uh, main campus alone, um, together with your associates, that should be about 40,000. More than 40,000 students mm -hmm. uh, distributed uh, in various parts of the country <clears throat> where we actually take university education closer to where the people are so that it can be affordable because they are near a home. Mm -hmm. At the same time, <coughs> we also see the needs of that particular area and uh, so that we do our research based on the needs of a particular area. So these campuses which we have in various parts of the country enables us to see the problems that our Kenyans are facing and address them adequately. Mm -hmm. What, what is your sense of the education situation in Wasingishu County? Uh, this year, the KCSE results, this county produced one of the best girls' schools, that is the Moy Girls Secondary yeah, yeah. School. What is your sense of the education situation in this county? And does having more university here sort of give a motivation to schools around this county? I'm sure the influence of more university is contributing towards uh, better performance because our education students, we send them out to these secondary schools to actually do teaching practice. <clears throat> and that's where they contribute towards improvement of their performance. So that's where we are contributing. Not only in, the, in that line, we are also helping uh, our hospitals within this region, where we use our medical students to reach out to the, to the communities and offer health services to the people within uh, this county and beyond this county. Mm -hmm. In terms of the economy of the county, is there any contribution, if at all? Much contribution, because I think we are the biggest player when it comes to contribution of the economy. We have actually revived Rivertex, which is a company that has been closed for more than 10 years. We have employed quite a, a number of people who are actually able to feed their families and also have income that is enabling them to educate their children. You are talking about paying taxes. We are contributing greatly on that line. We are talking about uh, using services within the county and also contributing towards that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's all we had time for on the county edition for your interview. We thank you very much for joining us. We have been speaking to Professor Richard Mibe. He is the Vice Chancellor of the Moy University.